What's the word, OG Gang? Your boy, you wave six. You know, the VVS man, another episode. Once again, I was gonna say, man, I'm grateful. Thank you for my new subscribers. We still going up. We about to reach 1500. Much, much love. Thank you. From the bottom of my heart, real talk, man. I appreciate it. Thank you for the love. Thank you for the support. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna keep driving. We're gonna keep going to the wheel for love. You know the vibes, man. Listen, this episode is about um the crown. I know I see a lot of waves out there, you know what I'm saying? The crowd is kind of messed up. I ain't gonna judge you though. If you're not with it, you ain't with it. But this is this video is for those that's with, with the shit, you feel me? If you want your crown to be elite, I'm working on it. I'm in the process, so I'm gonna break down how I brush my crown. If you're Beehive 720s or 360 hybrid, it's the same thing. The main thing, just to focus on your crown. I'm gonna give you a few details, a few tips. So you can knowledge it and create your own your own ways, okay? So I'm in a wolfing process. I've been wolfing for four weeks. Um I'm probably gonna wolf for like eight weeks. So I'm gonna show you my progress real quick. And this is what I have so far. Still working on it though. Hopefully Friday. Hopefully Friday or Saturday. Um, I'm gonna get a, a shape up. I'm not. I'm not cutting my hair here. I'm just gonna get a line up, and that's it. Just the brush, and then you got the little comb, so you could use that. If you don't got either the one that I show you, you could use the tip of this brush. If you don't got that brush, you could use this. So it's no excuses for your crown. You could use the edges of any brush that you have, okay? Second thing is, make sure when you go to the shop, let your boy know, you know what I'm saying, whoever's cutting your hair, let them know you want your crown to be puffier than the rest of your pattern. Cause your crown is real sensitive, you know what I'm saying? So if you don't have a lot of hair in your crown, you're not gonna be able to work on your crown. You're not gonna be able to make it wave up. So, you know what I'm saying? Work on your crown, go to the shop. If you're cutting two in the side or your whole pattern, cut it with the three. All, all, all depends on how long you're wolfing. So you gotta use your own judgment, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm giving you the information, but you gotta make sure you you use it on your own ways, okay? One other, another other tip is brushing is key. The main key having waves is brushing. It don't matter what kind of pomade, you can put the best pomade, best oils, best do rags, best Crown patch, it does not matter. If you're not brushing, you ain't doing nothing, nada. So make sure you're working that crown. It's better. This is my opinion, and I hope you guys, you know what I'm saying, don't feel some type of way. This is just my personal opinion as a waiver. Me, personally, I've been waving for a year and change already, and I, I learned myself and for other waivers that when you brush your crown, your crown helps your whole entire pattern to get flawless and to get better. Because remember, this is where your hair grows from, your crown. So if you brush your crown, it's gonna flow. Remember, it's a swirl, so it's get bigger. It's like a tornado. That's the eye, so it gets bigger. So if you brush your crown and you master your crown, it's no way your, your, your pad is gonna look bad. If your crown is looking good, your whole entire pad is gonna be easier because it's easy to brush the outside angles of the crown. The crown is hard to brush because it's small. So uh, that's why a lot of waivers, they don't brush the crown because it's kind of uncomfortable. I understand that, I trust me, I get the point. But having elite waves, it starts from your crown. So 
If you want your waist to be to the next level, focus on your crowns first. Brush at least five, 10 minutes in your crown and then do two, three hours in your pattern. Do you, do what you gotta do. But focus first on the crown. If you wanna start with your pattern, cool. But make sure you finish with your crown. Like me in the sample, my crown's not elite. I'm still working on it, you see? So what you wanna do, you just wanna go around. I know I know it's hard, man, trust me. I'm, I'm going through the same process. I know it's hard to get your crown the way it is, you understand me? And another tip is to stop using that's if you could do it, you know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna say no, cause I, I'm doing it I'm doing it myself, as you can see. I'm using one hand. And the reason why I'm using one hand, I already know how to brush my crown. But if you learn how to brush your crown, change your hands. You know, you could change your hands, you know? You could come and change your hands and just, just play with it. It's the same thing with, with your hair outside. Your hair needs to feel, needs to feel that, that brush. So just play with it. Play with your crown. There's it's nothing bad about it. Just, just brush it around, you know? But if you already got it like I got it, you know, cause I could brush the whole crown with my entire hand, you see? Cause I know how to use the, I know how to use the brush already, but if you're in the beginning on your own beginning stage in your crown, change your hands. That way you don't um, get forks. If you don't want to use that, if you don't want, if you don't have this, you could use this. So this is what I do. I'm gonna give you an example and slow down. Stop brushing fast, slow down. Looking, you gotta look what you're doing, you know what I'm saying? Stop brushing fast. Brushing fast, you're not gonna get your waves in one day. It takes time, you gotta let your hair grow, you gotta move, you gotta stay consistent. So, you know what I'm saying? If you're brushing, be precise. Stop flicking your hands, you know what I'm saying? You're not the, you're not a barber, so. Waves is being precise with your angles and being consistent with your brushes. So you see, that's how I'm brushing now. So that's how I do it. I wanna see exactly what I'm brushing. I wanna see how I'm pulling my hair. I wanna see my waist, you know, coming up. So you gotta do, man. You see, it's not that hard, man. I'm not allowed to you guys want waves from one day to another. It, it, it takes time. Just gotta put the work in. 10, 15 minutes you do. Me, not, normally, honestly, I do 30 minutes daily. 30 minutes. If I feel like brushing more, I push it to an hour. This is how I work on my crown right here. I use the tip of the brush. So I work it, you know what I'm saying? I just do you know, I change my hands, you know. I go with the flow. I know a lot of waves out there, they know how to rush. 
the entire pattern with one hand. You know what I'm saying? But not 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 everybody knows how to do that. So if you don't know how to do it, just change your hands. You know, don't be like the next guy. Follow your own lead. I'm trying to be like the next guy. I gotta rush really hard, just. So you gotta do, man, you just gotta, just focus on me. Boom. Just keep repeating the same process, man. Repeat the same process all over, you know what I'm saying? You don't gotta be here for 10 hours. Then brush outside. Your crown and your eight angles is two different sections. You could get close to your crown, but don't brush your crown together with your angles, because that's when you're gonna mess it up. You gotta treat it like two different sections. You see how I'm brushing my angles right now, my outside angles? See, that's what you gotta do. Do two, do two different sections. I see a lot of waivers they You wanna rush everything together, like, like they rushing. Stop rushing your brush sections. Stop brush, you stop rushing it. If you don't got time to do it, do it some other time. But every time you, you, you dedicate some time when you're here, especially waves this is for my elite waves that want to be elite this is for my my, my beginners that wants to be elite this is for my meeting hair waves like me if you want to go to the next level with your with your waves and um want to have better connections and you want to feel satisfied with your pattern You, you gotta dedicate some time to it. You know what I'm saying? You can't expect just brush the day and tomorrow you're gonna have a a perfect pattern. It don't, it don't work like that. It takes time. It took me some while for me to realize my angles and and learn them and you know what I'm saying? So. You gotta be patient, man. Stay consistent with your angles. Stop brushing fast. You see how I'm brushing? I'm brushing, I'm taking my time. Especially when it comes to the crown. When it comes to the crown, I take my time with it. Okay. Like and I'm tapping, I'm not brushing hard, I'm just I'm letting the brush do his job. I'm just tapping. So you gotta train your hair to lay down the way you want it. So it takes time, but eventually your hair's gonna get trained and how you want your hair to go, it's gonna go. 
just gotta stay consistent, gotta stay committed. So that's why I'm getting my patter better. I'm brushing slow now. I realized that brushing fast was not giving me results. So sometimes you gotta change your strategy. If it don't work for you after a month or two, three weeks, change it. You know what I'm saying? Change something. Not everything, but change. Change your angles. Change the way you're brushing. Move your hands. If it don't work with your hands like that, put it like this. If it don't work like this, change it. Do something. Create strategies. Eventually, one of them is gonna work. On top of that too, you gotta learn your head too. You gotta look at your crown. You gotta see, you gotta swirl clockwise, going kind of clockwise. So you could flow with your pattern. If you wanna break your fork, your, your, your crown, it takes time. Remember, you're breaking the way, you're breaking the cycle. You're breaking how how your um your waves is born. So if your crown is like this, if you're trying to open it like a beehive, it takes time because you got to train your hair, so you got to woof. So what I did is, since I got a up center crown, and my crown is uh, clockwise, I didn't stress it out. Um, I, went, I went with what I could. 360 would swirl or 540 or 720s. I, could, I can't get a beehive because my crown is closed. It's not an open crown, crown. So that's what I did. That's what you gotta do, man. You know, my crown was was worse than this, and it's getting better. So I gotta keep doing it. You know me. Stay committed to it. And that's that. Little plastic bag. You know what I'm saying? If you want to use palmy, do it, but just know. Probably it's not good, so whenever you get a chance to get some oils, you could go to Walmart, you could go to Walgreens. And that's it. You could get one of these at Walmart. You be all right. Try to go natural as possible way. You know what I'm saying? So that's it. That's all I can say. So. So you gotta do if you wanna go to the next level you wanna feel better by yourself and your pattern follow these steps you'll be all right you just gotta stay committed to it so I'm gonna do some, gonna do some brush section I'm gonna let you guys know you know what I'm saying like subscribe share with your friends 
stay brushing a little bit more. I'll show love to the pattern and see you guys in the next one. Stay safe, stay out of trouble. You know the vibes, man. It's your boy, you baby. Peace.